good. We're about ready to dispatch here. Getting everybody off the yard. Getting some room in the yard. Well, we got our first dog out. Randy got the semi stuck on the road, crown of the road, lifted his tires, drive tires off the ground, so he's just spinning out empty. Okay, you're gonna do it all here, so just pull me back a little bit. So I'm hooked up with his little pickup tow strap, and I can't even feel if he's back there right now. But we're moving, we're moving. Yeah, that should do it, there you go, that's good. Oh, that's all I wanted. We didn't get to have any fun. First field of the morning, Sunday morning here. Let's go get hooked up. All right, we got both heads hooked up. I'm back in the green cart tractor here. We usually, what we've been doing so far this year, this is all new to us with pulling a head behind the combine, uh, but we get Chet, who I pull his head, get him hooked up first. He punches into the field, opens it up a little bit, and then Doug pulls in with his head behind him in the second combine and uh, unhook the trailer, pull up, get the head on there. It's been working. Not sure if there's a better route, there always is, so we're going to try that until we learn it, right? Now I'm driving around to the south end of this field, and uh, Chet's going to cut through. We got two varieties of beans on this field, <clears throat> and the later ones are on this uh, west side here, and they're a little too green. Not sure we'll get to them today, but uh, we're going to take out the earlier variety first. So heading over to the other approach where that variety is, and we'll get this day rolling third day of soybean harvest we've punched out three fields so far uh, one of those being a smaller one it feels good to be back into this uh, grain cart this is a demo 2096 compared to the 2596 that we own um, we're just going to use the one cart in soybeans that's pretty typical for us this cart's very similar there's some updates i think you guys may be seeing different uh, easier ways of greasing better windows to see into the tank which i can tell the difference already there on these longer carts it's tough and if you've ran one you'll know it's tough to see where you are uh, when you're, the combine's unloading. I usually memorize where I am off of the head of the combine but now I can it seems I can see a little further back in there see my bows on top of the cart so that I know if I'm unloading into the rear of the cart. Otherwise it comes with the same joystick if you get one of these uh, avalanche carts you better have the joystick i don't know if they offer it without but make sure it comes with this these things are a lifesaver there's one scv that you lock into continuous flow and all my functions are on here unfold the auger pivot the auger up and down once you're over the uh, truck i got spout control and the fore aft end side to side and this little trigger like top gun is how you open and close the gate very nice so you're not when you're unloading you're not fumbling around fumbling around looking for uh, which SCV to use down on your armrest so highly recommend that so Chet's almost to this south side of the field I'm gonna pull in there 
I gotta unhook my head trailer still. That's behind the grain cart, which I can never tell if it's back there. Honestly, I could be dragging his head by a strap. Won't even know it's back there. Can't feel it in this tractor. It's too big, so we just pray it's always with us. All right, check's unloading. First load of the day. Nice part about this, same as the uh, 2596, is it tells me if I'm loading too heavy on the hitch or too light on the hitch, uh, too far back on the cart. That's displayed on the Sioux Harvest as well. So that hitch weight, I'm at about 40%. Really shouldn't get any more than that. Uh, otherwise, you're just putting too much weight on the front of the cart. So that's when I usually pull forward and uh, try to get a little more grain in the back. With these big carts, they suggested load the first load about the center of the cart and put one on the front and then one on the rear. That works, you know, that's a quick fix, but you can watch this uh, display, the Sioux Harvest display, just watch your hitch weight and you can move around when you want. I don't like loading it too heavy on the front uh, so that I block my windows because then I can't see through the cart and uh, know what I'm feeling on the rear like I was talking about earlier. Well, it's Sunday morning, got my breakfast. Fueling up, we ran pretty hard yesterday. Duggo broke his combine. Hey! What's going on? Don't do that. Retorquing. Woo! Retorquing bolts on the duels because they've just put them on there. This wrench is heavy too. That winded you? Or is just this well, firm actually, belly? Half the problem was <laughs> leaning over inside there, supporting the huge Milwaukee <laughs> impact wrench. Oh my. Tell them what you destroyed on this machine yesterday. Oh, you wouldn't believe you it. Made you made it know, how many hours? We should show them Maybe that. five hours? When people do a job, I really like to see people do the job perfect. Not just a little bit uh, close to holding together, but see that sheave up there or whatever you call it? Well, it's, there's a round pipe or a drive shaft that is welded to the actual spindle and uh, the weld broke off. Some guy contacted me for, on Instagram and said that it must be the same people that weld up Kenworth drive shafts. Whatever that means. <laughs> but the weld broke loose because it was not, did yeah, not So penetrate. that's the counter shaft. Counter so shaft. basically twisted off the end, yeah. putting him down for what, three hours yeah, yesterday? Yeah, no. The he run home and the pits crew, all everyone just jumped on it as I sat out in the field that the beans aren't really ready in, but We've been grinding them out. It's slow The going. beans are dry, the stems, stems. are green. And That's when I mean green, I mean green. That's what we get for putting that fungicide on there. I'm sure the neighbors think we're nuts. Is it fungicide or fungicide? But fungicide. What's, new? what's new to that? Well. <laughs> All right, fueling them up. We got four trucks to unload. Did one leave? One left. Good. All right, the crazy train has arrived. And as Duggo, long as the Duggo. struggle bus leaves us alone, <laughs> It'd be great. I can take crazy train, but not the struggle we bus. We haven't been off to a great start yet. It's been rough. I gotta go. All right, we're about ready to dispatch here. Getting everybody off the yard, getting some room in the yard. It actually works very, very well. I highly suggest pulling your head trailers behind your grain carts. It works really well. Get my screens all set up here and we're heading to the field. Let's get some heads on. So what I just did there is I pulled into the field or got my head on, pulled in, just opened up a little area so dad can drive in, then he unhooks, puts his head on and away we go combining. These beans are uh, kind of like what we combined last night. I don't know if you can tell, there's green leaves still on some of them. The stems are completely yellow, but right now the beans are 14%. 
little wet, but we're putting them in a segregated bin for wet beans. And then when later season, when we start combining, the beans get over, over dry basically. Then we end up blending them out. When we're hauling them out, we blend the wet beans with the dry beans and you get a very nice average. So that's why we can do this. Although these pull really, really hard. I'm going 2.2 miles an hour at 100% engine load. So that kind of really sucks. But we're doing something, so knocking out acres. Last unload of this field. Just knocked out a 104 acre field, I believe it is. Things are going pretty good. One of the trucks blew an airbag on the new stainless steel trailer, so he just parked there at the farm. The farm is right there. So we're down a truck and the cart's full, 90,000 pounds, so we, it's gonna be hard to move fields now. We're actually uh, renting another Ben site, and so it's west of the farm a ways. So the trucking industry is a little backed up because we had everything full last night and then the leg is 2,000 bushel an hour and we can come by about 2,500 bushel an hour at this speed. So I can get a dinner break, that'd be good. He doesn't even get out of the I cab know. to help it's, you, huh? It's, it's hard to find good a combine operator. Look at that, don't, don't waste any beans now. Never. That was a milkweed. Ah, uh, it all goes through the combine thing. Yeah, I can taste the milk. They thought I was joking about the dinner break. Good. <laughs> so, hey, he's wasting beans. He's got to make it a run. He's got to run with the unload auger folded out a little bit, otherwise it hits the reel. Look at this. You boys. You boys. Dairy Queen, huh? You're too you been nice. cooking hard. <laughs> Yesterday I did. Today they did. Yeah, she made burgers on the grill. She mm. gave me three. Three. <laughs> three. <laughs> you, uh, you know, the big sweet. <laughs> Special treatment for you. For sure. I need it. Otherwise, I get a little down. <laughs> Is there a hitch on the back so of this trailer? If you give Steve to you, it'll be awesome. We need that porta potty. Oh, my. After this. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, look out. Thin, this is this is excellent, actually. Mm. Thank you, Mom. You know, farmers' wives, they're more than just pretty. They keep the behind the scenes everything going. Thank you to all the uh, farm wives out there. Well, I think we've ate all the beans that were questionable. No more fields. Darkness is coming shortly, so we're gonna call it an early Sunday night. Start unloading trucks and quit combining. All right, we'll see if we get any rain tonight. Got some fixing to do on a semi. Some guards and sickles are broke up. None too major, but good couple of days run. I think we got maybe uh, 400 acres done in the last two and a half days, so not too bad for the trouble we've experienced. Hammer time, boys. Time for some sleep. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next video. I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it as we're underway of harvest. We'll see you guys next time.